Baird Gala. Tonight we'll be watching four lovely young ladies as they vie for the title of the 2015 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair. The Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair is the official hostess and spokesperson for the Sheboygan County Fair. Tonight I have with me two very special guests. We have the Wisconsin State Ferris of the Fairs, Miss Deanna Schleiss, as well as the 68th Alice in Dairyland, Miss Tiana Lather. So Tiana, you were just recently um, crowned as the 68th Alice in Dairyland. What is your biggest accomplishment that you'd like to have as the Alice in Dairyland? Sure, I think the main goal of Alice in Dairyland I'd really like to take with me into the future here in the next year is really connecting the consumer's, gate, consumer's plate to the farmer's gate. So helping people understand where their food come, comes from, the people and the processes behind it, and how they can take that with them into their daily lives right to their dinner table. Okay, and of course we all know that all of agriculture is very special, but what is especially special to you that led you to becoming the Alice and Jerry Land? Sure, well I would say that even though our agriculture is an $88.3 billion industry here in Wisconsin, we have so many aspects that factor into that. The dairy industry is our largest economic sector at $43.4 billion. I was involved in that growing up on my dairy farm until I was 11, but then I really uh, got a feel for how diverse agriculture can be in Wisconsin, where my family diversified into beef cattle and market hogs too. So I think showcasing that aspect of Wisconsin agriculture is something I will certainly take with me into the position. All right, and so then talking about the economy, um, when you do talk to some of the farmers around Sheboygan County, they're talking about how the milk prices are, are um, falling in the dairy industry, but other things are rising, for example, with selling bull caps. Uh, where do you see the economy in the dairy industry heading in the next five to 10 years? Certainly, well, I think it is definitely growing. Uh, Wisconsin dairy industry, we currently produce about 27.6 billion pounds of milk in the state but we hope to reach 30 billion pounds by the year 2020 with a few initiatives that are here in Wisconsin. So that certain industry is certainly growing and we have over 600 different varieties, types, and styles of cheeses that that milk then goes into. So those go into our processing industries and 90% of that milk is then uh, taken, taken into the cheeses that are produced here. So as cheese consumption is growing, the dairy industry is growing here in Wisconsin, there's a bright future ahead. All right, well, thank you. And we have the state, Wisconsin State Ferris of the Fairs, Miss Deanna Schleiss. So Deanna, you have been the State Ferris of the Fairs for a little while now. What has been one of your favorite events that you've done so far? Well, I think right now, just with June Dairy Month kicking off, all of the dairy breakfasts are super fun. Not only do I get to eat all these amazing foods that people are preparing, uh, but just we get to celebrate dairy, and especially if it's a breakfast on the farm, we get to go to the farm, actually meet the producers, and talk with them a little bit about what they do, and get to know more about, like Tiana said, how does that get to my plate? Um, where, where did it start, and how did it get there? Wow. All right, and I know that you were the Brown County Ferris of the Fairs before you became the Wisconsin State Ferris of the Fairs, so what led you to wanting to become the Brown County Ferris of the Fair that led you here? Well, when I was in high school, I was very active in agriculture through the FFA, uh, and as I went into my professional career of teaching, I kind of got away from that. I started to incorporate some agriculture into my classroom, but then I really decided I wanted to get back into the industry, whether it was you know doing something just with my local FFA chapter, but then I found out about the Brown County Ferris program, which has just recently started up again. So it was kind of a cool opportunity at a unique time in my life to become an advocate again, and it's just kept taking off. All right, and is there anything that you want us to know about the upcoming Wisconsin State Fair, that, anything new that, that's going on? Oh goodness, there's so much new at the Wisconsin State Fair, uh, but as we're talking about food, we've been talking about it, uh, one of the aspects of WISTateFair.com is the Food Finder, where you can go on and type in any food that you are looking for, and it will show you if it's at the State Fair, where you can get it, which is something that I adore because I love to eat fair food. And uh, the other things that are going on, we have main stage acts from Boston, Kenny Rogers, uh, Nick Walenda is going to attempt his longest stretch that he's ever walked across on a wire, so that's pretty exciting. Um, but I would love it if everyone could join us on August 6th to the 16th out at, in West Dallas for the Wisconsin State Fair. Well, thank you so much. We're going to get back to the 2015 Sheboygan County Fairs of the Fairs Gala, where we have four lovely young ladies who will be vying for that crown. 
And these four lovely young ladies are all very talented and qualified and will make a fantastic 2015 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair. Good evening and welcome. Tonight is sure to be a wonderful experience celebrating the talents of our young people and Sheboygan County Fair traditions. I'm excited to be joining you in this role this evening. My name is Jeff Frieders, and I am the FM Operations Manager for Midwest Communications Sheboygan. Uh, what that means is I help oversee our rock station, 106.5 The Buzz. We have a country station, Sheboygan's Country B93, and our pop station, 104.5 and 96.1 The Point. I also host the afternoon show on The Point, and Midwest Communications is very excited to have the opportunity to be involved with the fair this year. And B93 in particular is looking forward to helping present the national headliner Joe Nichols to the fair this year. That'll be a lot of fun. So it is with great excitement that we start the night with a person who's given it her all to the citizens of Sheboygan as the 2014 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair. Danielle, daughter of Richard and Dawn Navis of Cleveland, served Sheboygan County with much commitment and excellence during her year as the 2014-2015 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair and represented Sheboygan County in the top 10 at the Wisconsin Ferris of the Ferris competition in January. Absolutely. One of the many highlights included hosting an extremely successful celebrity cream puff eating competition at the Sheboygan County Fair. Uh, I was a participant, and good play in not letting us know that we couldn't use our hands until seconds before the contest started. So I was thrown off. My training went completely by the wayside, but it was a lot of fun. And you did a wonderful job hosting the event. And you were also the first fairest to ride her horse and present 4-H flag in the front of the grandstand before the extreme bull riding and barrel racing competition. Now these events took the fair to the front headlines of local and statewide media because of her hard work and organizational skills. Please help me once again to welcome to the stage our 2014 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair, Danielle Navis. All right, hello everyone, and thank you so much for being here at the 2015 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair Gala. Like Jeff said, my name is Danielle Navis, and I am your 2014 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair. A year ago I was in these ladies' shoes and we have four very lovely young ladies here tonight and I can tell you from the couple weeks that I've gotten to know them that they are very talented and very qualified for this position. But I do know how nerve-wracking it is in their shoes so maybe we can give them a little bit of a round of applause right away. official spokesperson and hostess for the Sheboygan County Fair. But truly the fairest of the fair is someone who is very passionate for our county fair and wants to share that passion with all of you and with our community. And there are a lot of people that we can thank for this amazing program that we have here tonight. We want to thank first of all our sponsors. We have over 100 sponsors and some of them hopefully are here tonight. We want to give them a huge thank you. I also... I'd also like to thank our judges that are here tonight because without them, I wouldn't be here and the next Ferris of the Fair will not, would not be here. So truly thank you for the judges for making the trek all the way to Sheboygan County. I don't... I'd also like to thank our whole community and all of you for being so supportive and encouraging of me in this role and of the Ferris program in general. That also goes with thanking the fair board. They truly welcomed me in at the fair. They were so wonderful. They fed me. It was great. I'd, <laughs> I'd like to thank the 4-H leaders and FFA advisors that are out there for helping our exhibitors to grow up into great young 4-H and FFA kids at the fair and for eventually becoming fairest of the fairs. I'd also like to thank a very special uh, couple people that are out there, my parents, um, for without them and pushing them to be out of my comfort zone and pushing me to be that all I could be, I wouldn't be up here because for those of you who don't know, I used to be the most shy person ever. I was terrified to talk to my teachers. I didn't really have a ton of friends. I was so scared of everything and now I'm up here talking to a bunch of people. I don't really know what happened. <laughs> And then the last group of people are a very, very, very special group of people to me, and that is our Ferris Committee. 
We have the most amazing Ferris Committee, I think, out of all of this, the whole state. They're just absolutely wonderful. They've put on everything here tonight. They were there every single day for me. I could call any of them and they would talk to me. And the best thing was that at the fair, they really welcomed me into their fair family. So could everybody on the Ferris Committee please stand up so that we can acknowledge you? Thank you guys. So please enjoy tonight. Um, make sure that you give a huge round of applause for all of these four young, young, lovely young ladies at the end of the night. Come and say hi to all of them, not just the winner, because they've all, they've all had to overcome a lot of fears just to be here tonight. So thank you again so much for being here. All right, thank you, Danielle. And we would like to take this time to recognize our men and women that are serving for our freedom, those that have served our veterans, and those that have given the ultimate sacrifice of their lives. We salute you and would ask that any service men or women past or present in the audience please stand so that we can applaud you for your service. And it is now time for our Pledge of Allegiance by the Sheboygan County 4-H members. now time to meet our candidates. They are alphabetically arranged for this part of the program. Each candidate will introduce herself with a 30-second self-introduction and make her way back to her seat. Would you please help me in welcoming Kimberly Beck. been an important part of my life. Every year my dad would break a little care for me to show in the open show at County Fair. I have always had so much fun and learning experiences at the Sheboygan County Fair. If I become your 2015 Sheboygan County Fair is fair, I hope I can serve you with as much passion as I have for the fair. I hope everybody has a great evening tonight. Thank you. And it is never easy to be the first one to go, so thank you, Kimberly Beck. And this time, up next, we have Shannon McCabe. Please put your hands together for Shannon. I'd like to welcome you to this evening's gala. I'm Shannon McCabe from Sheboygan. I've always believed in set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. A quote once said by Bo Jackson. My goals in life are to become a veterinarian, own my own clinic, and animal shelter. 4-H has been a part of my life for over 14 years, and FFA for three. The fair became the best part of my summer growing up. It selected your 2015 Fair So the Fair, which has been a goal of mine since I was a little girl. I feel my courage, perseverance, and dedication would shine through. Thank you, Shannon. And up next, we have Sarah Schalk. Sarah, please, to the stage and put your hands together. Good evening. I would like to thank you all for coming tonight. My name is Sarah Schalk. I go to UW River Falls and major in animal science. 4-H and FFA have been a huge part of my life. 
it gave me the opportunity to show my horse at the fair. While showing, I gained leadership, patience, and team building skills. Nothing has slowed me down from achieving my goals, even though I'm a type 1 diabetic. I hope to be your 2015 Ferris of the Fair. And thank you so much, Cheryl. And to round it out tonight, we have Elizabeth Witter. Elizabeth, to the stage, please. Good evening and welcome. I'm Elizabeth Witter of Sheboygan Falls. My passion for the fair began when I was a wee little girl with my mom at the youth building to becoming an active 4-H and FFA member. Currently, I am attending Iowa State University, majoring in agronomy and genetics, with hopes of going on to graduate school to become a professor of agronomy so that I can be a part of educating the public on how our food is grown and impacts each and every one of you. And thank you so much, Elizabeth. One more round of applause for all four of our candidates this evening. And at this point in time, I get to introduce the 2015 Wisconsin Ferris of the Fairs. Joining us this evening, we have Deanna Schleiss. And Deanna grew up in the small town of Denmark, Wisconsin, with her parents, David and Sharon Schleiss, and graduated from Denmark High School in 2007. She attended the University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire, and graduated in December of 2012 with a Bachelor of Music Education and a minor in biology education. She was an active member of many honors groups on campus, a member of an all-female a cappella group, and a member of the UWEC cheer and stunt competition team. Deanna started teaching eighth grade science at LB Clark Middle School in Two Rivers in the fall of 2012. At Two Rivers, she serves as a student council advisor, CLC after school program coordinator, and an active member of her school's leadership team. Her love for the fair started in 2003 when she joined the Wisconsin State FFA Honors Chorus. As a member of the FFA, Deanna started participating in speaking contests and taking ag classes at her high school. As someone who did not grow up directly in the ag business, she has found a love of agriculture through different venues. Please help me in welcoming the 2015 Wisconsin Fairest of the Fairs, Deanna Schleiss. Left for me to say. Okay. As he said, my name is Janice Schleiss. I grew up in Denmark, Wisconsin, so it was a very nice, lovely drive down I-43 and 23 over here to this lovely venue where I got to meet the wonderful contestants. Uh, being a part of the Ferris of the Fair program is something that I have truly cherished, and coming into this program to see all of the effort that this committee has put forth, it is just amazing. There are so many things great things that are going on with this program and as you heard Danielle was a fantastic ambassador for her fair and meeting these four girls I've only met them very shortly but uh, I've gotten to know them quite well in that little amount of time and I can't wait to see which young lady is uh, accepted as the new fairest of the fair that being said I will tell you a little bit more about myself um, as it said in the intro, I did not grow up on a farm. I did not grow up in the agriculture industry. And a lot of people that fall in love with the fair industry do grow up in that sort of environment. And my love for the fair started back in 2003 when I spent four days at the Wisconsin State Fair. If you've ever been in the Tommy Thompson building, um, it is 12 girls to a room with one bathroom. Uh, they gave us two sinks, so that's okay. Uh, but. <laughs> It is kind of a whirlwind adventure when you go down there and you have no idea who these 12 other girls are in your room and you're just kind of thrown into this environment where you are, anything can happen. And that is where my love of the fair really started. Through that I started getting involved at my county level through my FFA. Um, if you're familiar with the Denmark FFA alumni, uh, they're very active in Brown County and over the state. Uh, I got involved with FFA and started taking those egg classes but really fell in love with the service portion of agriculture and the fair industry. Um, I love to give back to my community and it's something that the fair does. They put on this amazing showcase of not only youth, uh, but also the hard work that they do. And I always say it's so cliche and it's so corny to say that the youth are our future, but they really are. And if you go to any county fair, you are going to find the most dedicated, the most passionate, and the hardest working youth in the state. 
and I truly believe that. I am really excited to be able to represent the Wisconsin Association of Fairs and all 76 county district and state fairs that we have in the great state of Wisconsin. If you've never been to any of your surrounding county fairs, I challenge you to attend a new fair this year, something you've never seen. Maybe it's the state fair, or maybe you take a trip over to Calumet County. Maybe you take a trip down to Fond du Lac. Just see something you've never seen before. Because honestly, the fairs are the center of our community. They're such a great opportunity for us to showcase the history, the tradition, and the education that we have to offer in this great state. That being said, I love the Wisconsin State Fair. I will be attending my 12th Wisconsin State Fair, and being that I am 25 years old, that is almost half of my entire life I have spent down at the Wisconsin State Fair. And it's just gonna get bigger, which is great. But um, I will unfortunately not be able to perform with the State FFA Choir this year, as I will be kind of busy, but it is very important that you all know what's going on at the Wisconsin State Fair. Now, I didn't bring my cheat sheet up here, so please, please don't mind if I have to recall some facts here, but it is the 164th Wisconsin State Fair, and the fun, most fun fact that I have learned about the fair this year is that the cream puff is the longest standing item sold at the fair. It has been sold out of the same building at State Fair Park since 1924. So that was something fun that I was able to learn. The State Fair will host over a million people in its 11 day run. And if we're talking about agriculture, which I know Sheboygan County has a rich history of agriculture, we're going to see six to 8,000 different animals grace our presence at State Fair Park in West Allis. And that is just really exciting when you think about how much agriculture is the backbone of our industry. And it's really fun because we give out scholarships also to those participants, and we are the home to the largest junior dairy show in the world. So that's really exciting. Um, some of the new things, if you're a Kenny Rogers fan, he's going to be closing out our main stage acts at the Wisconsin State Fair. Boston will be opening them up. We also have 30 free stages. If you're familiar with the new commercials, the Push It commercials, when they're, you know, maybe, maybe you don't watch as so much TV as I do, but, uh, <laughs> Salt and Peppa is going to be at the Wisconsin State Fair on August 15th, and I am looking to see if, he, if they beat out Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice had a huge crowd last year, so I'm, seeing, I'm going to see how, how well they do. But with that, there are many other things that you can see at the Wisconsin State Fair. You can always log on to wistatefair.com. The website has just been revamped, and it's very easy to uh, follow along and find the things that you want. And as Danielle said, it must be a fairish thing, but I love to eat. And uh, the fair is a perfect place to do that because there's tons of food there. Um, they have a new thing called the Food Finder. You click on it and you type in what food you want and it'll show you if it's at the State Fair Park and where you can get it. And if you type in cheese, you will have to search for days through the entries because almost everything at State Fair has cheese in it. So that's a, a really great way to kick it off. So um, I'm going to officially invite you to the Wisconsin State Fair, sponsored by U.S. Cellular. It is running from August 6th through the 16th in West Allis, Wisconsin, at the State Fair Park. Now, some of you have little smiley faces on your programs. It will be on the back page, in the little corner. And so here's the deal. I will get you something whether it's a, a ticket for a cream puff, maybe it's state fair tickets, uh, once I figure out what I can give you. Um, but here's the deal, you have to give me your address because I don't have anything with me. So if you have a sticker on the back and you put your address on your program and hand it to me by the end of the night, I will get you something special from the fair. So thank you very much for having me here tonight and good luck to all of our contestants. Thank you, Deanna. And if it makes you feel better, I know exactly which salt and pepper push it commercial you were talking about. It's a very good commercial. So at this point in time, it is uh, time to introduce our selection panel. And as you can see by the introductions this evening, they will have a very difficult task. And they actually started, the selection team started at 3 p.m. today doing individual interviews, group interviews and had a light dinner with the candidates so far. Their jobs aren't over yet as the candidates are still being evaluated on their professionalism, speaking ability, and fair knowledge 
I will ask that they please stand as we recognize them individually for their commitment to the program. And first we have Brenda Gilbertson. <laughs> Brenda Kavanaugh Gilbertson has a lifelong passion rooted in the agricultural sector and involved in supporting Wisconsin fairs. She and her husband Eric reside in Hollandale, Wisconsin with their growing family where Brenda works from home as an independent agricultural marketing communications consultant and wellness and financial coach for AdvoCare. In addition, Brenda and her husband Eric and father-in-law Mark own and manage Gildale Holsteins in Iowa County. She has extensive media relations, ag promotions, and consumer awareness by serving in multiple ambassador roles including as the Wisconsin Holstein Princess, Manitowoc County Ferris of the Fair, and being a top five finalist for Wisconsin Ferris of the Fairs, in addition to the honor of being a finalist for Alice in Dairyland. Once again, Brenda Gilbertson. <laughs> and next we have Jim Reed. And Jim is representing our male gender this evening, as you can tell. <laughs> For over 19 years, Jim has been president and CEO of American Digital Cartography, Inc., headquartered in Appleton, Wisconsin. ADCI has specialized in providing digital mapping products and services since 1988. Jim is a member of the executive committee of TEC, Fox City's Chamber of Commerce, president board of the Wisconsin 4-H Foundation, and serves as past president of the Sales and Marketing Professionals of Northeast Wisconsin. Jim is very active in the community as well, dedicating many hours working as a hospice volunteer and doing taxes for over 10 years for low-income taxpayers in the Fox Cities area. Jim is a 1990 graduate of Duke University Fuquay School of Business Executive Management Development Program. Once again, Jim Reed. And our third of the selection panelists is Janina Seamers. Please welcome Janina. And Janina, along with her husband Dan and his family, are proud to be fifth generation farmers and have the opportunity to raise their children on their family's quicentennial farm, Quas Quicentennial Farm. She serves as the farm's business manager of Seamers Holstein in Newton, Wisconsin. Janina grew up very involved in agriculture through her family's dairy farm and today enjoys all aspects of agriculture and has served in leadership roles in various agricultural organizations. She coaches dairy bowl teams in 4-H and the Junior Holstein Association that have competed successfully at the local, state, and national levels. Janina received her Bachelor of Science degree in Business Management and Organizational Behavior from the University of the Pacific. Janina and her husband Dan have two sons, Jordan, a sophomore at Cornell University, and Connor, a sophomore at Howard's Grove High School, Janina Seamers. <laughs> and that is your 2015 Ferris of the Fair selection panel. And one more time, please join me in thanking this selection panel for their time and dedication to these women and our Ferris program. At this point in time, we have several special guests with us in attendance this evening, and if you hear your name, if you could please rise. And we've got a nice long list here, so if you could please hold the applause until the end, and we'll give one big round of applause for all of our special guests. We do have the 2014 Fairest of the Fair, once again, Danielle Navis, and her parents, Richard and Dawn, are in attendance tonight. And we have the 68th Alice in Dairyland, Tiana Lather. Wisconsin, oh go ahead, let's give the round of applause. Round of applause. <laughs> Wisconsin Ferris of the Fairs, Deanna Schleiss. <laughs> Former Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair, Nicole Noel Reese. And Nicole is now one of the coordinators of the Brown County Ferris of the Fair, and she has a special guest, Ferris, from Brown County, Heather Duquesne. And we also welcome back former Sheboygan County Ferris, Jessica Ford. 
And do we have any other former Sheboygan County Ferris in attendance tonight? If you are, please wave your hands. I think we got everyone. Very good. Also in attendance tonight, Miss Lori Seagert. And we'll move to the next one here. But Lori is uh, and will be representing her family for the Barbara A. Seagert Memorial Fund Scholarship to the Ferris. Also Jean and Kathy Kastner. Jean and Kathy are the scholarship sponsor for the first runner-up. We have Bill and Pauline Jens, not here in attendance at the moment, but they are the scholarship sponsor for the second runner-up. And the Locke family of Locke's Ballroom, of course, the great facility sponsor. We appreciate round of applause for the Locke family. <laughs> in attendance tonight, we have State Senator Devin Lemahue. We'll be here shortly. <laughs> and when he comes, we'll let him know that there was a, a tremendous round of applause to the winners. <laughs> also joining us, State Representative Tyler Borpago. <laughs> and we'll have some wonderful entertainment from Willing Workers for Each Club. And a round of applause for the pledges that led us in the Pledge of Allegiance, the Sheboygan 4 Eachers tonight. <laughs> Alrighty, at this point in time, we are ready to move into the applicants, the 30-second radio advertisements and impromptu questions on stage. Now, the women drew an order this afternoon for this component of the contest. The first candidate will be Kimberly Beck. So I ask Elizabeth, Sarah, and Shannon now to pro proceed into the soundproof room that we have in the back here. <laughs> and up first will be Kimberly Beck, age 19 of Plymouth. She is the daughter of Ed and Denise Beck. She's a graduate of Plymouth High School and a graduate of Fox Valley Technical College where she obtained a technical degree in agriculture business, dairy technician. She is currently employed at Gazer Dairy LLC, where she helps care for the transition cows and keeps records on cow calvings, breedings, pregnancy checks, and other responsibilities. Her future goals include working full-time on a dairy farm as a herdsman or assistant herdsman or owning her own dairy farm. She also wants to continue growing her purebred cemental herd and marketing them. Please welcome Kimberly Beck. This year's 2015 Sheboygan County Fair will be September 3rd through the 7th. There's so many fun and exciting things happening this year. We got the livestock shows and sales. You have the Joe Nichols concert Saturday night, the lot, the rodeo, pig and duck races, and even a Grandpa Cratchit show. It's not the end of summer, but the beginning of fun. I hope you can join us at the 2015 Sheboygan County Fair. September 3rd through the 7th. For more information, check out ShevcoFair.com. Now we will have a question now, and we do have a similar question, but we'll be polling a type of audience that'll be written on a sheet, and that will vary the answer to this question. So we'll pull out the impromptu question, and we'll have different questions in the bowl. And once you have answered the question, we'll welcome you to take your question out of the bowl here and then take a seat afterwards. So I have this bowl right under here. And Kimberly, come on over and reach in. All righty, and here is your question. How would you persuade people with disabilities to attend the Sheboygan County Fair, and how would they benefit from attending? How would I get people with disabilities to the Sheboygan County Fair? There are so many accommodations for people with disabilities to come to the Sheboygan County Fair. You have people that will help you. Um, there are a lot of different ways, and it's all handicap accessible. 
You got ramps up into the 4-H building and into the open class building. All the livestock barns are handicap accessible, so you can go and check out every aspect of the Sheboygan County Fair, even if you are handicapped. And at this point, we will knock into that soundproof room and invite Elizabeth Witter. Feel free, a round of applause for Elizabeth as she starts to make her way on the stage. And Elizabeth, age 18, Sheboygan Falls, is the daughter of Steve and Heidi Witter. She is a graduate. See, it really is soundproof. She had no idea. <laughs> She is a graduate of Sheboygan Falls High School and is currently attending Iowa State University where she is studying agronomy and genetics. She is currently a summer intern for Dow AgroSciences Plant Breeding Research Station in Arlington, Wisconsin, where her duties include sorting and counting seed, planting nurseries, pollinating, and taking field notes. Her future goals include graduating from Iowa State University and then attend graduate school for plant breeding she would like to return to the university to teach agronomy courses and do research. Elizabeth Witter. All righty, Elizabeth, your 30-second announcement. Come celebrate at the Sheboygan County Fair, the end of summer. The Sheboygan County Fair will be held September 3rd through the 7th. It's a place for everyone. Some of the fun family educational activities include the new Egg Venture Tent, Grandpa Cratchit, livestock shows, 4-H and FFA exhibits, and national country recording artist Joe Nichols. Come celebrate the end of summer and check out ShebcoFair.com. Thank you for the 30 second radio advertisement, Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth will have you reach into this basket and basically there will be index cards and they will slightly influence a question that we're asking tonight. They'll have different audiences that will help shape your question. And your question, Elizabeth is how would you persuade high schoolers to attend the Sheboygan County Fair and how would they benefit from attending? How I would persuade high schoolers to come to the County Fair would be to tell them about all the great entertainment we have that they would really enjoy and all of the fun rides we have and of course teenagers love food, right? So all the great food at the County Fair and we also were discussing earlier today, I don't know if the fair board is going to fly with it, but possibly having a discount day for high schoolers and bringing their student ID in to get a discount. So that's an option too out there. And then what was the last part? <laughs> okay. They would benefit from attending because there is a lot of educational benefits that they can have. They can learn about agriculture. They can learn about all the different industries that Sheboygan County has to offer. And next we will have Sarah Schalk, and she will be making her way to the stage rather shortly here. Sarah, age 21, of Waldo, is the daughter of David and Deborah Schalk. She's a graduate of Plymouth High School and is currently attending UW Fond du Lac, where she is majoring in animal science. She is currently employed by Mills Fleet Farm, where she assists customers in the lawn and garden department. She is also employed at La Quinta Inn, where she helps at the front desk and also works at Sundance Farms. Her future goals include transferring to UW River Falls and obtaining her degree in animal science with an agriculture business minor. And then she would like to attend graduate school at the University of Kentucky, where she would like to be in the large animal nutrition field and specialize in equine. Please welcome Sarah Schalk. exploring all the animal barns and 4-H building, watching the pig and duck races, meeting Grandpa Cratchit, going on all the rides, getting your countryside on at the rodeo and tractor pulls, also the crowd's favorite, fair food. I hope you get your fair on September 3rd through the 7th. 
For more info, check out ChefCoFair.com. Thank you, Sarah. And it is now time for your question portion. And we'll have you reach into the basket, and the index card will help mold the question that you are asked. So here we go. We can pick one out here. And your question this evening is, how would you persuade tourists to attend the Sheboygan County Fair, and how would they benefit from attending? I would persuade tourists to come to the Sheboygan County Fair by telling them there's a lot of different events at our fair that are not found at others. We have uh, different events such as a concert uh, with a new country concert coming and also other events for everyone. They're free. So we persuade them with free activities at the fair. Thank you, Sarah. And lastly, we will have Shannon McCabe. And Shannon is 24 years old of Sheboygan, is the daughter of Tom and Katie McCabe, and Deborah Obright. She is a graduate of Sheboygan North High School and Lakeshore Technical College, and is currently attending UW Fond du Lac, where she is studying pre-vet with a biomedical animal science major and a business minor. She is currently employed by Sprint as a sales representative and Advance Auto Parts as a key holder customer sales associate. Her future goals include becoming a veterinarian and owning her own veterinary clinic and animal shelter. Shannon McCabe. Hey kids, summer may be almost over and school may be starting soon, but I've got the perfect place where there's fun for everyone. With cows and cow pies, chickens and cream puffs, horses, games, and rides, home goods, clothing, and jewelry, five music stages, 4-H Hall, Grandpa Cratchit, demo derby, and tractor pulls with the largest tractor display. It's not the end of summer, it's the beginning of fun at the Sheboygan County Fair, September 3rd through 7th. For all this and more, go to ShebcoFair.com. Come join me, your 2015 Fairs to the Fair. I'll see you there. Thank you, Shannon, and it is now time for your question portion of the evening. So we have one last index card for formality purposes. We'll have you reach into the basket here, and the answer on this card will help shape the question that you are asked. And your question, Shannon, is how would you persuade senior citizens to attend the Sheboygan County Fair, and how would they benefit from attending? I would persuade senior citizens to come to the Sheboygan County Fair by explaining how much fun it is. The fair is good for all ages. It's fun, educational, community oriented, and very inexpensive. There's plenty of activities for senior citizens to go to. There's animal shows and polka and lots of many other events. Senior citizens would have a wonderful time at the Sheboygan County Fair. Thank you, Sharon. And a round of applause for all of our candidates. It is not easy to answer a question on the spot like that. I think you a wonderful job. At this point in time, we will excuse our selection panelists. They have a very important job to do. Best of luck to the panelists. And at this point in time, I'd like to introduce the 68th Allison Dairyland, Tiana Lather. Wisconsin's 68th Allison Dairyland is Tiana Lather of Sauk City. She grew up on a dairy and beef farm showing at the Sauk County Fair. She was a 2010 Sauk County Ferris of the Fair. She graduated from the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 2013 with a degree in animal sciences and finished her master's degree in animal sciences this spring. She says running for Alice has always been in the back of her mind, but it was when she really got into the education end of agriculture that she thought this would be a great way to educate people about agriculture. 
as Alice, she wants to help people better connect to where their food comes from. From the farmer's gate to the consumer's plate, one idea she has is recipes from Alice, a collection of foods which not only use Wisconsin ingredients, but the stories behind those ingredients, the faces of Wisconsin agriculture that play into that. Lather will spend the first two weeks after her selection and orientation at the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. She will begin her official duties as Alice in Dairyland on June 1st. Ladies and gentlemen, the 68th Alice in Dairyland, Tiana Lather. so much for that wonderful introduction. I think you heard almost my entire life story uh, with that, but I want to give you a little bit of an insight way back into my childhood. I want you all to think back to when you were five years old. How many of you had a best friend? One you told all your secrets to, and maybe you even shared your after-school snack with? Go ahead, raise your hands, don't be shy. I certainly had one. She had four legs, black and white spots, and weighed 1,500 pounds. <laughs> Angel the Holstein dairy cow was my best friend growing up on our family farm. We had 120 cows until I was 11 years old, and since then we've diversified into having market hogs and beef cattle. And this knowledge of the diversity of Wisconsin's agriculture here is something that I will take with me into this role as Alice at Dairyland, because we are America's Dairyland, but we rank number one in the country for the production of cranberries, ginseng, mink pelts, mink, milk goats, and even cheese. So there's many different facets of Wisconsin agriculture that I will represent at, through my year as Alice in Dairyland. And since I have grown from my farm and uh, my family legacy, I went on to the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where, as it was said, I developed a passion for education within agriculture. And Alice in Dairyland's role as the official agriculture ambassador within our state is really to teach both rural and urban audiences all across the countryside into the inner cities about where their food comes from. So as I kick off my time here as Alice in Dairyland, it's also a very exciting month here within Wisconsin agriculture. It's June Dairy Month. And the dairy industry within Wisconsin is phenomenal. It is a $43.4 billion economic impact. And to give you an idea of how much that is, the entirety of Wisconsin agriculture, that economic impact is $88.3 billion. So it's nearly half of the economic impact that trickles down into each and every one of our communities here across the state. In this dairy industry, the, each dairy cow on those farms produces $34,000 that then feeds back into our schools, our communities, and our grocery stores, the public services that we have. So whether you grow up on a farm and you have your best friend as Angel the Holstein dairy cow, or you're from an inner city, downtown Madison, which I live in at the moment, you can always enjoy the dairy industry within our state. One of the ways that the dairy industry impacts us here is through our producers and processors. Cheese is number one in the nation coming from Wisconsin. We produce over 600 different varieties, types, and styles of cheeses. And this can be enjoyed all through the state, all through the nation, and as we export into more than 150 countries around the world, that impact is felt. You can taste that Wisconsin brand no matter where you go. So as you continue on here through the summer, June is Dairy Month, but you can enjoy Wisconsin's dairy industry into the summer and every month, which is Dairy Month in Wisconsin. You can visit the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board's website at June Dairy, or excuse me, DairyDaysOfSummer.com, where you can find different locations for breakfast on the farm. You can search them either by date or by location to find one near you, you or a weekend that works throughout all summer long. Here you can visit and meet the farmers behind the consumer's plate and then tour a farm, get hands-on experience, experiences with the lovely ladies that are producing our dairy on a daily basis, 365 days a year. So I encourage you all to enjoy dairy as you continue on through your summer here and all the way through to the end of the year. And as was mentioned before too, I was a Sauk County Ferris to the Fair. I grew up in 4-H and FFA. And to echo what Deanna said, I really truly do believe 
that these youth here today and in our county fairs in 4-H that are showcasing their projects as you near, near September here, they are the future of agriculture. And when I was teaching at the University of Wisconsin, as much as I acted to inspire my students and to instill agriculture and the value of that in their lives, my students were the ones that were inspiring me. So think about that when you visit your county fair and you see all of those kids working so hard to showcase their love, their passion for the agriculture behind your community here. It's really an honor to be a part of this selection process here and your gala tonight for your fairest of the fair. All of these four wonderful ladies really, true are, really truly are incredible, inspiring future advocates for agriculture as they continue on. I've told all of them here before uh, we started this, this community event that no matter what happens tonight, they will walk away with something that they can take for the rest of their lives into the future and continue to, to be advocates for the rest of their lives. Thank you so much for having me here, and I hope to see you throughout the year as we advocate for, educate, advocate for agriculture today, tomorrow, and always. Thank you. for Wisconsin's 68th Alice and Gabrielle And at this point in time, we have the 2015 Sheboygan County Fair greeting, so I'd like to call to the stage Sheboygan County Fair Association representative, Gary Vanderkin. Yeah, the stickers. I don't know nothing. I don't know Ten. anything about Ken. Whatever she's going to do, I'm going to do double, okay? That's the way we do it. I'm serious, okay? Yeah, who's got a sticker? I'll, whatever she's going to do, I'm going to give you double, okay? That's the way we're going to do it, okay? Whatever it is. I have a board, I have a board member here to talk about it. I'm here to okay? I'm here representing the Sheboygan, the Sheboygan County Fair. We are the second largest fair in the state of Wisconsin. We annually, we, every year we welcome over 200,000 visitors. We have 10,000 exhibits, by far the biggest in the state, and that's a fact. Um, so, I, like I say, I'm representing the fair, and I'm, I'm happy to see all of you here this evening. This is kind of the start of our fair year, I guess. And I'd like to thank the Fairs of the Fair Committee, who does a great job every year for staging this event. I know um, there is countless hours that they plan this and put their time in and stuff. It's uh, and they give a, give of that to the fair and it really helps us out. They get very little help. From, they don't get any help from the fair board. I'll be very honest with you. We don't, and they don't ask for any, and and they get nothing. And then they, <laughs> just the way. That's more. You're giving away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what she's gonna give. <laughs> okay. And. To all four for the contestants, you know, good luck to each of you. I, look at me, I, I had a week to prepare for this thing and stammer and stutter around. I got 30 seconds repairing and they're blowing me away on it. So <laughs> I just want to report on the fair a little bit, okay? Of course, on Thursday, we we'll always start with the, with the meat animal sale on the grandstand. We have the local tractor pull. Friday is always Senior Citizens Day. Nothing's going to change there. Friday night, the big tractor pull on the grandstand. And that's a little bit of a change this year because, as the girls alluded to, on Saturday night we have the Joe Nichols concert. And, and we used to race on Friday night that has been very, very successful for us, but we can't do that because we need the whole track. They're setting up a stage to come in on Thursday morning and to set the stage up, so we can only use half of the track, so you can't race with half the track. So here we are, we can, we, we can run the, um, the big smokers, I guess they call them, in front of the grandstand, and that's what we're going to do Friday night. Okay, Saturday afternoon, the popular Farmer Buzz is back. Saturday night, we're bringing in Joe Nichols. Uh, this act is, um, 
has been called for for a few years, um, a national act, a very expensive act for us to bring in. We're just the Little Sheboygan County Fair. And this act will probably cost us well over $100,000 when all is said and done. So please, put the Saturday night on your calendar. Get your, get your years to help. And he should play to a, a younger, kind of a, a middle-aged group there. Um, very well, so he was at Miller Park two weeks ago, very well attended. Um, so ticket, the way ticket sales look right now, it, was, it looks like it should be a re really good success. Sunday morning, we start with the church service. Not long after that, the Futurity Show begins. And they tell me that this secure, the Futurity Show is by far the best in the state, and that's no bull. Sunday evening brings back by popular, popular demand, the bull riding event. Monday morning, the Blue Ribbon Small Animal Auction. <laughs> it's, it's just getting better and better every year. And this year you'll see more wristband days, um, we hear, you know, we hear the stuff like a man at all, you can ride all week for free and stuff like that. Well, that's not really true, but it, we're offering as much as we can right now. Um, we, we think we have a better venue, so um, we're coming, we're, and it, actually we're having a deal where you can buy tickets before the fair, and you can ride all weekend for that one total, one ticket, so. Um, the, the horse hitch from Kelvin Hintz will be back here, that was a huge success. It was, you will see, Another thing we did last year, we covered as much of the grounds and tents and awnings as we could, and you'll see more of that this year, just to keep everybody out of the rain, the sun, what have you. And um, we are very, and uh, was one of the girls alluded to the Ag Adventure exhibit. We're doing that this year in conjunction with the State Fair. It's kind of a techie thing, I guess. There's iPads and stuff like that involved, but it's going to be new, and uh, we're devoting a whole tent to that. Um, we have some very, very generous sponsors that have stepped to the plate and helped us out with that. And uh, so, and plus, we have $60,000 worth of free entertainment throughout the weekend, and that's free entertainment. You come into the fair, and you can do anything, and it's all free entertainment. We have more shuttles. We're going to have more shuttles. People are asking for them. We're, we've been using our new parking lot way at the northeast end of, of and it's, it's a little bit of a walk, so we're bringing in golf carts, the big golf carts with shuttles, trams, and to get the people up to the gates. Um, one of the girls alluded to in her question, handicap. If, you, if anybody knows of a handicapped person, we, you call the fair, we will make sure they're picked up where they want to be picked up. We have drivers for that all weekend. We just want to make every, everybody happy. And we're still working on a few things yet, and, um, but all in all, if we had to run a fair, we'd be pretty close to be able to run it right now, because if we ain't got it done now, you ain't going to do it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. And it is now time for the entertainment portion of the evening, brought to us by the hardworking 4-H club members and parents of the Willing Workers Club. Some of you may remember the music and silly jokes of days gone by from the TV comedy show Hee Haw. Take a trip down memory lane with the Willing Workers as they present to you our very own rendition in Cornfield Comedy. Sit back and enjoy a good laugh or two from our corny jokes.
corny dancing, and corny live music. Speak for yourself. My music ain't corny. What? Well, let's hear it then. Oh, that's bad. No. 
Let's back. <laughs> because. I'm awesome. You want that black? Oh, that's good. <sighs> no. That's back. How come? Because. One day, I spotted a plane upside down, and it fell out. Oh, that's bad. No. That's good. How come? Because I looked under me, and there's a haystack. Oh, that's good. No. How come? Because when I got closer, I saw the pitchfork. <laughs> oh, that's bad. No. That's good. How come? Because I missed the pitchfork. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's bad. How come? Because I missed the haystack, too. <laughs> Oh, that's good. No! That's bad. How come? Because I was in high school so long that I missed my 4-H meeting. Oh, that's bad. You're sure not that bad? Because they were serving Luigi's Pizza! <laughs>
would you believe? His last spring, it up and flew away, headed south. <laughs>
This, to me, is what the fair is all about. And the amazing thing is that I was privileged enough to see just about every show. With the horse project secluded in the upper corner of the fairgrounds and the horse show happening every day of the fair, I had never seen any of the other animal project shows. I must say that the most entertaining show was the pig show. They really, really liked my shiny shoes. <laughs> Another amazing event that was a first for me was the Holstein Futurity. Having lived on a Holstein dairy farm my whole life, this was a very special event that I was able to be a part of. It is the perfect event to support our county's dairy industry. I can tell you that this is an event I'll be putting on the agenda to attend every year. The 2014 fair also had many new events that were not only tons of fun for the public, but also were incredible experiences for me. One of, the, one of these were the addition of the Thunder Express Percherons. The Six Horse Hitch is home to Sheboygan County, and they truly are one of the best. The first day that I was given the opportunity to ride along, Mr. Hins drove the horses all around the fairgrounds. I've been in many parades throughout the summer, but let me tell you, nothing can compare to this. Hundreds, if not thousands of people line the streets to see the horses and wave to us. Talk about exhilarating. As if that wasn't enough, we drove right in front of the grandstand. I mean, right in front of the grandstand. Oh my gosh. That was just absolutely amazing. With thousands of people cheering, I climbed out of the wagon and welcomed those thousands to the fair. I still get goosebumps just thinking about it. Another new addition was the extreme bull riding and barrel racing event. With this event being right up my alley, I contacted the organizers and was given the opportunity of a lifetime to ride in the opening ceremonies. For the night, I was able to ditch the dress and the heels and do what I love, ride. I had also given the organizers the idea to allow the 4-H Horse and Pony Project Western Drill Team to perform during a short intermission. This meant that my younger brother, Alex, who was on the team, would also be in the pit area as I prepared to ride. After warming up with my brother, they handed me the 4-H flag and I galloped around the ring in honor of the 100 years of 4-H. I honestly cannot explain the feeling I had that night. It was truly amazing. I think it's safe to say that I will never forget this life experience. Not only is it permanently stamped on my resume, but it's permanently stamped on my heart. And to think that it never would have happened if I hadn't stepped outside of my comfort zone. More like leaped out. Like I've been telling these four ladies, you can't be afraid to jump out of your comfort zone. And surround yourself with people who will support you and reach for your goals. You never know where they might lead you. So now I've put together a brief slideshow for all of you to enjoy that has the highlights of my year as Ferris. That was my horse. <laughs> yeah. And that's my friend Molly from Richland County. <laughs> we were we had a lot of fun together at the state fair. I got to meet some really amazing people like I was talking about with our fairest committee. They're awesome. And that's my brother on the bottom with his horse. actually won it last year as well, so if she's invited next year, I, I think she's probably got the, got the head of our everybody.
So on a closing note, I'd like to say thank you. I've been telling these girls about experiences I've had as fairs where I could make a difference in someone's life. I believe that it is important and is something I strive for every day. But what I didn't tell them was the biggest impact wasn't what I could do for someone else, but it was what our community, all of you, have done for me. You've made a huge difference in my life with your support and your encouragement. And for that, I say thank you. Thank you all so much. And it is now time for a special presentation of Danielle Novice. I would like to please call upon State Representative Tyler Vorpoggle and Senator Devin Lemahue to give our special presentation. Well, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, Devin wasn't able to be here tonight, but um, I, I just want to recognize as well uh, Representative Kotsma uh, from the 26th Assembly District, who was able to sneak in between things uh, a little between the programs. So uh, he's here as well. But uh, but uh, it really is my pleasure uh, on behalf of uh, Devin to. Uh, present a citation uh, from the state legislature uh, on behalf of Devin and myself, and uh, it's really short, so uh, I'll, I'll read it here. Whereas Danielle Navis is passing on her title, oh, a little bit of a glare, of Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair after a year of service, and whereas Danielle, daughter of Richard and Dawn, is a graduate of Howard's Grove High School and a recent graduate of Concordia University, majoring in biomedical science and a minor in chemistry. And whereas Danielle is employed by DNR Dairy Farm, Emanuel UCC Church, and the United State Pony Club, and whereas Danielle has dedicated an entire year to bringing people together through her leadership qualities and working hard as the 2014 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair, engaging all citizens, young and old, in events throughout the county by teaching them about the fairs, benefits to community, agriculture, and youth. Now, let it therefore be resolved, Senator Devin Lemahieu and Representative Tyler Vorpagel commend Danielle Nevis on her public service and wish her a long and prosperous future. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Once again, thank you for State Representative Tyler Borpago and Representative Kotsma for being in attendance tonight. We appreciate it. And Danielle can't go too far, as I would like to call up our Ferris Committee Chairperson, Courtney Booth, to the stage. Round of applause for Courtney. I'm getting my workout tonight, can you tell? <laughs> it's a busy evening for everyone. So welcome everyone to the Ferris of the Fair Gala. It's so great to see a great crowd here to support the Ferris candidates, um, our outgoing Ferris of the Fair, the Alice in Dairyland, Ferris to the Fairs, and, and all of our sponsors that have contributed so much to making this program what it is today. Um, so we would like to encourage you all to please turn uh, to the back of your program, you'll notice the outpouring of support that we have. Does everyone have a program or can look on your neighbors? It's really important um, because I'm going to ask for a little bit of time here. Just take a look. Over 123 sponsors. How many of you think that you know 25 of them as you scroll down? Raise your hand if you know 25 of them. That's great. How about 50 of them? Oh, God. oh it's Danny. All right, let's go. 75. Now the Ferris Committee is raising their hand over here. I don't know. Okay, and now take a look at the new sponsors for 2015. Do some of you patronize those individual businesses? If not, I would encourage you to do that. 
some of our new committee members that we have with us tonight have done a lot of hard work to reach out and extend our program even more. So would you please, um, if you are a sponsor here this evening, if you received a special invitation in the mail from our Ferris Committee person, Kara Abraham, would you please raise, rise, take a moment so that we can celebrate your contribution and your generosity to the Ferris program. Please rise. As you could hear the hooting and the hollering, a lot of people have been impacted by your contribution. So thank you very much, and I hope you'll consider it in the future when we come knocking, because you are an important part of this program. Um, at this time, would the Ferris Committee work their way up to the front with me for a little bit? Um, our 2014 Ferris of the Fair as well. Um, we have something for, for you on behalf of the Ferris of the Fair Committee. This is a pin that celebrates um, her role as Ferris of the Fair this past year. And it's a small pin that she can put on her lapel or um, put someplace special, whether it be on another sash someday as Alice or whatever it may be. But this pin actually also symbolizes the contribution of Barbara Seeger to our program. She believed in the program and started it back over 30 years ago, and it has her birthstone of Peridot, I believe it is, in the, in the middle of it. So we want to say thank you for all of your hard work. Uh, you were always so brave. You got out of your shell. You made people feel very welcome. And you made a difference for our county and our program. Congratulations. And now these ladies are busy at work as well. You don't see them, but they're kind of just scattering like ladybugs. I want to introduce the Ferris of the Fair Committee. Would you please help me thank, after I say all of their names, and their husbands and families as well. Kara Abraham is our treasurer. Kara, would you step forward? Kelly Bingo is acting as our photographer this evening, so she'll contribute to the media that way. Leanne Black from Glen Glen Beulah. John and Sue Bourne. Sue's up here, John's in the back, I think. Um, and Brenda Phipps, Brenda does our handbook and so forth. We have two new uh, committee members from the southern part of the county. Would you help me welcome Gloria Tennyson of Cedar Grove and Cindy Vanderweely from Waldo. So this is our outstanding committee. So ladies, you're excused to keep working hard because we have a meal prepared before all of you tonight. So thank you and for all their contributions to their families who let them come to a meeting that, you know, is only supposed to take a couple hours and then we get chatting. <laughs> and it becomes 11 o'clock before we get home sometimes. But that's part of the, the fun and excitement of volunteering with a great group of ladies. And they each have taken different roles of leadership, and together we bring this program to you. So I hope that you've enjoyed tonight's event. We also would like to take the time to thank our selection panel. And we really appreciate, they've moved locations here to another table, but we really appreciate the time that you took and your willingness to be with us almost all day, um, and the difference you're making in the lives of the young people in Sheboygan County. So thank you again for your contribution. <laughs> Sheboygan County feel very privileged to have both Alice and Dairyland, Tiana, Lather. We really appreciate you taking the time. We feel honored that they allowed us to pencil in your schedule. Um, you're going to make a great representative for our state of Wisconsin, and um, I'm just honored that you could share in Sheboygan County's best. So thank you for being here. The same, Deanna, you have, I saw you at the state competition and you did a great job and tonight you continue to shine and I look forward to the brightness that you'll bring to our fair industry and so thanks for being here as well. We also want to give another thank you to the great 4-H members entertaining us this evening. They came out and they waited patiently. As you can see, there was a lot of kids to organize. Thank you to all the leaders and parents that brought them out tonight. We really appreciate it. We have gala volunteers that stepped forward to make this night possible. And we also want to thank our outstanding MC, 
Jeff readers uh, for joining us tonight. You're doing a great job. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Lastly, in closing, thank you all for joining us this evening and for supporting our talented young adult leaders. Thank you, ladies, for coming out and representing our program. Any one of you will do an outstanding job. We're very fortunate. The best to all our candidates. And please stay after the gala to enjoy the winner's dinner that's waiting for you, um, donated by our generous sponsors. And I know you'll have an appetite because it's taking us a little bit to get through a great program. So thank you all. All right, thank you, Courtney. And at this time, I would like to invite all four of our candidates to come back on the stage. And does the selection team have the envelopes handy? And keep in mind, all girls are receiving gift baskets worth several hundred dollars from our generous sponsors this evening. And tonight's beautiful flowers are provided by Eileen Perone. Thank you, Eileen. Okay, ladies, here we go. The moment we have been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Good luck to all of you. Thank you for the fine job each of you are doing to promote the fair and our county, and we look forward to supporting you wherever your paths lead in the future. One more round of applause for all of our four candidates. <laughs> and to begin the placings, our third place finalist is Shannon McCabe. Congratulations, Shannon. The second place finalist will receive a $200 scholarship award from the Bill and Pauline Jens family. Their granddaughter, Erin Jens, the 2008 Sheboygan County Fair, is representing them in support. Thank you to the Jens family. The second place runner-up is... Second place runner-up is Sarah Schalk. Congratulations, Sarah. First runner-up will be active, filling the shoes of the fairest in areas where she is not able to attend. First runner-up will receive a $500 cash award from scholarship sponsors Jean and Kathy Kastner, longtime supporters of youth development in our county. Jean and Kathy's daughter, Christine, was the 1983 Fairest of the Fair. A drum roll, please, again. Here we go. Our first runner-up is Kimberly Beck. Congratulations, Kimberly. And the 2015 Ferris of the Fair will be responsible for serving as the Sheboygan County official host Labor Day weekend, as well as participate and represent Sheboygan County in a state competition in January. The winner this evening will be receiving the Barbara A. Secret Memorial Fund Scholarship of $2,000. Barbara started the Ferris program over 30 years ago with her husband, Roger. Barbara's legacy will live on in these wonderful girls each year through her memorial fund. And the 2015 Sheboygan County Fairest of the Fair is Elizabeth Winter. <laughs> and 
And congratulations, Elizabeth. Now, don't forget about the winner's dinner. Everyone is invited to stay after the gala to celebrate and enjoy delicious products donated by some of our wonderful sponsors. Also, for the media, we will have photos taken after the event right near the front of the stage. Also, media and family members, too. And thank you all for supporting these outstanding candidates, the Ferris of the Fair program, the Sheboygan County Fair. Stay around, enjoy each other's company, and have a safe drive home. One more round of applause for all of our candidates and our new 2015 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair. Elizabeth Hurley.